Hi everyone, I'm Robinson. In this video, I'm going to talk about all Hannah Montana games on the Wii. Hannah Montana World Tour has some nice ideas, but unfortunately, the main gameplay element sucks, which makes the whole game bad. So look, the presentation is amazing. They use the same actors for the voice acting, the graphics are nice, and the plenty cutscenes you get make you feel like you are playing an episode. It's job well done here. Then the game isn't just a rhythm game. You get parts where you go shopping or other mini games like signing stuff or roaming around backstage areas, but even if these parts lift the game's quality, the main part of the game, the rhythm part, sucks. It's unresponsive, clunky, and not just because of the controller, but because you have to punch some notes for example, which not only that doesn't work, but doesn't feel good either. So the game could have been better. If the rhythm part of the game, the most important part after all, would have been more engaging. And Hannah Montana the movie is still a boring game, but let's just appreciate how the developers made this game more varied. The game is split into two parts, a part where you play a smiley and roam around Crowley corners and play minigames, and the other part is performing as Hannah in the form of a rhythm game. But even if the game sounds good on paper, it's boring. I mean, just imagine that one quest where you have to talk to someone in the town, you go there, talk, then come back, that's it. I wasn't expecting much from the game, but I'm still disappointed. But at least there are mini games to play, which add a little to the variety. Though the game as a whole is pretty boring. Because it's kind of slow paced and this gameplay style is not for everyone. Miley even walks like a turtle. She walks very slowly. And the rhythm part of the game might have more variety, but it just doesn't work well. You sing in the Wii mode, get piano, drum and guitar parts, which are interesting to see, but not to play. Overall, the game is just boring. Or at least it was boring in my opinion. It's slow paced. And you can see that the developers tried. You can see the variety or the intent to have a varied and nice game. But for the most gamers, this game won't work. It will be boring to them. But maybe to Hannah Montana fans, this game might work. And even for girls, it might work. Because this has the formula of a really good girl game. You can ride your horse, you can have the alter ego part, the story is interesting enough to keep you interested, there are mini games, you can roam around in a farm and do farm work, so yeah, as a girl game, it's pretty good, but for the average gamer, it's a pretty boring game.